making me hana for just one time. I said you're making me hana for just one time. I said making me hana for just one time. That's right, you're making me holla for just one dollar. Say, make it me holla for just one dollar. Make it me holla for just one stinking little dollar. Make it me holla, just one dollar. Make it me holla, 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 holla for the one dollar. Now I'd buy that for a dollar. Robocop reference, guys. Well, man, all those RVs that were here last night are gone. I'm the last one, last of our party. Went to Walmart. Take out the trash though, you know. Using that McDonald's for my trash goods. Oh, they got a subway here. Eat fresh, y'all. I prefer McDonald's. I don't like to eat so fresh. I don't necessarily need anything at Walmart right now. I just feel like everyone that I stay the night at, I should be a patron of. I think it's just the right thing to do, guys. Right here in the infant section. I'm not a pedo. Uh, I just like to stay clean as a van dweller. And um, I, I like getting these Huggies ones. They're, uh, you know, they don't add all the perfumes and stuff. I just, I wanted to find a more like alcoholic one. This one is just pure water wipes. It's 99% uh, water and it costs a lot more, but whatever. And uh, I don't think that would do a good job. I'm looking to, uh, I want to get like an alcohol based one and just, you know, I want my skin to burn when I use it. Oh, this is what Scott and Camille were um, talking about, this diaper genie. Hmm, wonder if that would work to block out the odors. wonder if that would be good for van dwellers. Have you guys tried those? You know, I'm just, it just looks like I'm raising a child in the back of my van. Child services ain't got nothing on me. The Halloween is now turned into Christmas. Oh my god, look at this. The Christmas Story. Everyone loves that movie. This is what I'm talking about. That guy looks perfectly abled, and he's just got his dog, normal dog, house pet, you know, with a thing that says service dog on the side. Do you think he really needs assistance from that dog? That that man right there, that able-bodied man, needs assistance from that canine? I was wondering why my battery bank was at 12.1 volts. Start driving. Look at this cloud cover. Yeah. Cloudy skies with a that chance song. of dead oh, batteries. Cloudy skies with a chance of meatballs. Dead batteries. It's all rainy. I'm the lawnmower man, powerfully electric with an ongoing plan. I was crazy, now a calm, lonely man. Yeah, right. I'm a lunatic with bombs blowing land. I'm going tree fontaine on you, hoes, man. Don't like it, but it's cold. What? Oh my God, I am so frustrated right now. Trying to sort myself out here. I'm trying to take a picture of some of the cityscape of downtown Tacoma right now. And I try to use my phone as I always do. And it's having issues. I think I have too many apps open on it. And then I reach for the uh, Canon PowerShot G7. Turn it on, it won't turn on. It's missing the battery, so I have to go track that down. I find the battery, and then I go to use it again. Oh, it's missing the SD card. I can't find the SD card, man. Ugh. So I took this time to just like mellow out, watch the, uh, just check out the city, stare at it, and um, kind of clean this place up. I used uh, like 10 baby wipes all over the dash. You should use a baby wipe on your steering wheel. You would be really surprised how dirty that is. <clears throat> Just got a nice time lapse of downtown Tacoma. Let's get out of here. We're going to go to REI. Let's do it, baby. My sleeping bag is really cold at night. I'm going to see if I can get a better quality one. Rated for lower temperatures. You say that I'm no longer getting flashed the brights by other dri oncoming drivers it's because I adjusted the uh, headlights with the Torx screwdriver. Thank you John. Also got to say that my steering wheel, oh my god, it's much cleaner. I had no idea how dirty it was. I'm telling you guys, take a baby wipe to your steering wheel, you'll be so surprised. Oh, what? Right here on the left, this is the Ladybug Bikini Espresso. That's right, they serve coffee wearing bikinis. 
That's crazy. It's so cold here. I can't believe they do that. This wouldn't be the spot to do that. Arrived at REI. I like to park where there's flat ground. I don't think I'll hang out here, but just in case, you know. Jesus cares to you. I think he just sneezed. Bless you, Jesus. All right, check this out. So they've got all these sleeping bags here. I prefer, these are all mummy bags, right? And then I prefer the women's. No, this is just the old style, uh, more rectangular bag. But I like them because you can unzip them and just use them as a blanket. I'm not really into these mummy bags. I have one right now in the van and it's rated to zero degrees. So it's really just for emergencies. But it's been so cold that I've just been putting it over my body, unzipping in it, and uh, it's less than ideal. This silky material, I, I mentioned in my videos that it, like, it just slides off the bed, which is kind of dangerous now because I've got the Mr. Buddy down there. I don't keep it on when I sleep, but if it does fall, it could fall onto the Mr. Buddy. So uh, check out the price on this, $139. We'll check this out. Okay, so I saw this one right here. This is the Kelty version. And I think, you know, Kelty's a pretty good brand. I think it did say made in China, but whatever. Um, but another thing I also mentioned is that I like the fab, the more cottony fabric instead of this like polyester scratchy stuff. My whiskers, like they hit this and like scratch, 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 and it just keeps me awake. It's just annoying. But anyways, I saw this and then uh, a guy came over, told me that they have a Kelty sale right now and it's 30% off. So, he told me it would be $45. That one's rated down to uh, 30 degrees, and he also brought out a 15 degree one, which is five, uh, $10 more, so 55 bucks. What a screaming deal, man. Especially when you look at prices, like if that's 89. Dude, how awesome is that? We're upgrading, boys. New technology. That's right. Got a new sleeping bag here. Boy, did I get a good sale. This was only, uh, it was 30% off. $55, 15, down to 15 degrees. Thank you, Jesus. This was on sale too. And they had, this was like 18 bucks. It's a cool um, LED light. Oh, that's not so cool. But look how bright that is. And it's rechargeable by USB. I just thought that'd be kind of neat. Uh, anyways, that's a fun one. Uh, check this out. These are like little slippers. My feet get so cold in the van. Um, even when I have the propane heater on, they, I, there's a lot of thermal transfer for the, through this floor right here. And these are down slippers, man. They were not cheap. They're 55 bucks. But I, I, two of the people gave me their personal recommendations for them, saying they use them all the time. These REI folks, they're really helpful. And uh, that's it. That's my mother load. So I'm really anxious to sleep in this guy tonight. This has got everything I wanted. It's got the fabric. Oh, anyways, I'm excited. I'll tell you guys more about it later. Kind of looking like a madman talking to himself on the parking lot here. Hey guys, that's the end of the video. I was going to Washington, D.C., but I'm back in Tacoma, Washington because I've got new travel plans. Stay tuned to hear more about that. And because I'm a Trump supporter, and I'm not bashful about that in my videos, most of my videos are being demonetized right now. So, you know, I really try it. I spend a lot of time on these damn things. Help a brother out. <laughs> I'll buy that for a dollar. Have a look at the video description. There's a little game in there, level one through six. What level are you? Thank you to all of my level six supporters.